So this is about the Roto Trim line of paper cutters. They're uh, made in England, although now they're stamped made in the United Kingdom. I'm not sure what the difference is. I guess maybe they're made in this, maybe they moved factories to Ireland or Scotland or something. I'm not really sure how that works, but, um, or maybe it's just to comply with uh, EU guidelines to make the world a better place. I don't know. But um, down below, the bigger one uh, that's not lit so well is my old venerable Roto Trim 24. And uh, I bought that paper trimmer sometime around 1996. And it's just been, it's, it, it's moved with me. It's traveled with me in all my travels. Um, you know, I haven't taken it on location, but I'm saying when I've moved house, it's come with me. And it is just, it's probably better now than when I bought it. Um, because I just this week picked up the Roto Trim Pro 12. And uh, the reason I bought that is I find myself trimming. So, it, so if you're only gonna buy one, get the biggest one you need. But if you're gonna have two, it's really good to have the small one because eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, this one will do up to a 12 inch cut and eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, which I happen to have one right here. Um, on the bigger one, it's just a little unwieldy to have that giant trimmer uh, and take it out to cut it. Now, when you need it and you need to cut a 20 inch or 24 inch piece of paper, it's absolutely the bomb. I mean, th these are, as far as I know, the highest quality, best performing paper cutters that I've ever seen. And, and on top of that, the durability, I mean, you know, 1996, that's uh, 24 years old. And it's in, I mean, it's as good as, if not better, as I was saying, I mean, it, that one's smoother than the new one. Now, I don't know if the quality is not as good. I just think it's from it's from use. I think they get better with age. I think this one will break in and get smoother. It still performs as well. Um, what's really interesting about these is they self sharpen. So the more you use them, the sharp, the, they stay sharp. I mean, they're just, it's just a brilliant piece of kit. And considering you can get 24 years of use out of it. And then, I mean, I'll get 50 years of use out of it. It's a bargain for the, I mean, they're about 300 bucks now. And I paid about $225 for the big one, tw you know, 24 years ago. Um, I, that's us dollars. So, um, so when you're cutting eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, um, and you're doing a lot of them, like I was for my box set, I said to myself, you know, these trimmers are so good that it's there. It's worth investing in the smaller one as well. I mean, it's a luxury. I didn't absolutely need it cause I had the bigger one, but, um, but if I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting and the thing about these, these cutters is they're so precise. Look at that with precision. Look at that. I mean, that's just, you know, you could do that all day long. You can, you can shave off like a, a mill, a half a millimeter with precision. Uh, it's just absolutely brilliant. So, um, highly, highly recommended with 24 years of experience, Rototrim Pro 12 and Pro to any of the, any of the master cut series with the, and you can tell them with the two bars, they're absolutely fantastic pieces of equipment and worth every penny. They, they, they make a, a something difficult cutting paper precisely. And for a photographer, that's important. Uh, they make something difficult, like absolutely a non-issue. And, and there's very few things that work that well. So, um, so I can't recommend these high enough. If you're even thinking about buying one, just bite the bullet, spend the money. It's a lot of money for a paper cutter, but you're done. Once you get one of these, you've got the best paper cutter money can buy and you'll have it for the rest of your life. 
Hey, I appreciate it. Everybody take care out there. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.